something. Yep. Oh, there we go. Oh, it is the bite all day. All day we've been waiting for this. Man. Nice fish. Oh my God, look at that fish. That's a beautiful laker. Just bonked it. What's going on everyone? Welcome back. It has been a while since I've been out here. I have, I've been fishing, just not doing a whole lot of catching. Did some ice fishing recently. I'll roll some of that drone footage here. Got a bunch of beautiful footage, ice fishing, caught a few fish, but nothing really enough for a video. I decided to come out here. I've been fishing all day. I didn't know if it was going to be a video or not, but turns out we just hooked up with a real nice lake or so. I think I'm going to be cooking that fish up. I have four rods out here with shiners, actually three of them with shiners, one with power bait. And I've been out here probably five hours and just got that beautiful laker. I'm going to measure it again, but I think it was 17 inches. Beautiful, beautiful fish. I've been wanting to do a catch and cook with lake trout too. I haven't done it yet. Done brown trout, rainbow trout, lake trout is next. That was crazy though. The bite was so light. I mean, I'm sitting out here all day and I just see just a little tick tick on the rod tip. I'm like, oh my gosh. I went, I held the rod, I felt the bite and I just slowly set the hook there. The circle hook kind of does all the work for you. So I just kind of set the hook a little bit, not super hard and just started reeling in the slack and there was that beautiful fish on there. So let's give him a quick measure. Oh yeah, that's 18 and a half. That's a beautiful fish. Four, 432. Yeah, I've been out here at least five hours. And nothing until just now, just around sunset here. All right, I'll sit here on my chair now. I'll, I'll stand it out another half hour here. It's getting cold though. And I got two shiners left. Started today with two dozen, but we got it done. We got a fish here. Like I was saying earlier though, I did have a few ice fishing trips. I really want to go back out there because I want to do a catch and cook on the ice, but hopefully that'll happen. We were catching a few little bluegill, little perch through the ice. Still have to get on a good bite there. Not done yet with it, so gonna still try ice fishing. But I'm glad we were able to get out today on some of this open water and get onto a fish. Not bad for February, not bad. Can't beat that view too. Let's see if we get another fish. If not, we're gonna cook that fish up. <laughs> Everybody thinks about lake trout they think it's that kind of fish that you just throw in the smoker and just be done with it which is totally fine I love smoking fish but today we're gonna do something a little bit different I'm gonna take half of the lake trout fillets and turn them into a lake trout cake almost like a crab cake the other half of the fish we're gonna sear up so we can just see how lake trout tastes by itself we're gonna chef it up a little bit serve it with a nice red pepper coolie that we're gonna make here shortly with some baby broccoli and uh, let's see how it is so let's start cooking so this is the lake trout that I caught yesterday. I gutted it last night, stuffed the inside with a little bit of paper towel so it stays nice and dry. And if you're gonna store whole fish, that's definitely the way to go. But we're gonna fillet this thing up right now. The meat, I could already tell, has a sort of orange hue to it. Take a look. Wow. 
really gorgeous already. You can totally see that already. I mean, that's a gorgeous color to the meat. I think lake trout is notorious to being a little bit of a mushy fish, but so far, I think it looks just like any other trout. We are going to take this portion right up to the pin bones, this part off. That's bone free. And there's your pin bones. Now that leaves us with two beautiful portions there for searing and then all the rest of that straight meat there, we're gonna chop that up for the cakes. So we got our trout all diced up here and then we're gonna go ahead and start cutting some vegetables cause that's gonna go in the mixture for the crab cake. Put some butter in the pan. We have our celery, onion, and garlic. We're just gonna do a little Old Bay salt and pepper in here. So that's what you wanna do right here. You just wanna sweat the vegetables out. And then we're just gonna let these vegetables cool down. While that's cooling down, we're gonna make our red pepper coulis. So in the pot, we have some peppers, onion and garlic. We're gonna sweat that out. Just gonna season it very simply with some salt and pepper. Now once those peppers start to wilt, we're gonna deglaze a little red wine vinegar. That gives it a really nice tang. Little bit of stock. We're just gonna let those peppers cook. All right, these vegetables are cool now. We're gonna start off with about that much of it. We're gonna put some nice scallions in there. A nice crunchy part. Crack one egg. Some panko breadcrumbs. Now I'm just gonna ball these into little cakes. Start frying away. Whoa, looking really good. Sprinkle a little salt on top. Oh my gosh, that is looking so good. And that's it. Nice, smooth red pepper coulis. We're gonna take this baby broccoli, go ahead and blanch it. Just a quick blanch. Now we're gonna sear the broccolini. A little bit of butter in there. Toss them around a little bit. All right, that's going in the oven. Some oil in there. We're gonna season our fish up. Let that sear. Gonna give that a little flip. All 
right. There it is. I thought I was gonna serve it family style, but I changed my mind. We're gonna give this a shot right now. And then you crack open your drink of choice. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> All right, let's try. All right, what are you trying first, the fish or the fish cake? I'm gonna go for the cake. Okay. All right, let's see in the sauce. Okay. Mmm. Fish cake is good. All right, I'm gonna try the fish now. Mm-hmm. Just a fish by itself. A little bit of lake trout. It smells way fishier in here than it tastes. Yeah. It smells very fishy in here. <laughs> it smells like Yeah, when you water. sear the fish up, you literally get that that smell of fish. But it doesn't taste super fishy at all. It's very mild. Really, very mild. really mild. It doesn't smell mild, but it tastes mild. That's really that's really good though. I was not expecting that based on the smell. <laughs> I know. When I was searing it up. Woo. For how much fish I use in that and how many cakes I have, I still have another five cakes over there. That came out really good. I mean, there's the nice, what the fish cake looks like in there. Mmm. -mm. The tanginess of the sauce, you know? Mmm. Shishito pepper? Oh, yeah, I, I didn't even, uh, I think you, I, I might have missed filming the shishito peppers, but those are in there too. That's also really good. Yeah. R really tasty. So I don't know if you could see that, but on my Instagram here, I put out a poll. 91% of people like lake trout. Only 9% don't. So if you're w watching this video and you want to cook up some lake trout, this is a solid way you can do it. Well, that's it guys. Another success. This came out really, really good. So if you're looking to cook lake trout, give it a shot. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. More catching cooks, more fishing videos coming soon, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>